Hello everyone. Um, I kind of wanted to give an update on why I haven't been posting tutorials. Um, and I will get back to them here soon. Uh, but I, I had another project that I decided to start. Um, let's just say there's been some drama over at the uh, Fearless Cheat or Fearless Cheat Engine Forum or Fearless Revolution. Um, and not everyone agreed with some things there. Um, I really don't want to get into that too much. Um, if you're curious, you can go to Reddit and you'll find, you know, the um, Reddit R slash cheat engine. Um, and there's a number of posts that kind of show what, what went down and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and some of the arguments with it. Um, you won't find it on the Fearless Revolution uh, forum because they, they keep purging any any criticisms of the app that they tried to launch and all of that. Um, you go there, it'll just look like everybody loved it and they had a great time and, and all of that, but that really wasn't what happened. Um, so I ended up in the end, once I, I saw some things go down, I seen some um, pretty disheartening conversations happen um, that really troubled me. So I decided I was going to launch my own forum. Um, one that I controlled and I, I could know that mine and nobody else's tables were going to be messed with in that kind of way. Um, I, just to give a general explanation, they decided to, um, Fearless Revolution decided to launch an app, um, you know, uh, about 12 days after they announced they wanted testers um, and forced it on everybody day one. Uh, still in beta mode, even that it was even labeled that way. Um, to where it encrypted everybody's tables um, and really I mean just made them absolute monstrosities I mean I, I think I've already deleted the photos of it or the screen captures but I mean it was if you've ever seen my tables you know I'm kind of particular how they're laid out and all that I don't use hotkeys um, I, I use a lot of editable values and they set it up to where I mean it was like you couldn't do that everything was the same one hotkey, how there's stuff down in my debug section that had hotkeys that would just absolutely corrupt your saves and shit like that. Um, if you ran it, if you hit that one key that was going to enable 90% of the fucking table, um, you know, because they ran out of hotkeys before they even got through my teleporter, because uh, it was all just auto done. It wasn't, you know, no care was taken. Um, and I know that was actually something that bothered me more. I know their big concern was people stealing other people's work. Um, but me, I was actually more bothered by the fact that I got to see this monstrosity of a table that just wasn't what I created and it still had my name attached to it. I didn't like that at all. Um, they have since rolled that back and it's no longer forced. It's, it's an opt-in kind of thing instead of opt-out. <coughs> and I just said forced. They did allow people to opt-out, but it was just still that, you know... You, it should have been heavily discussed for a long period before they ever released it was my thinking but at any rate um so i decided to launch my own forum um opensheettables.org um i hope to keep a much more open dialogue with the community i'll really be pushing for that um that's why we've got a whole forum here or sub forum here that that's all it's going to be about is just to give news of what's going on what i'm planning and thinking cost you know all that kind of shit so we have an open dialogue and people actually know you know where money's being spent what's needed what you know when we're at points when you know it's not needed anymore you know we're good um and that kind of thing right now we're we're okay um so i'm not really needing money at the moment or any of that that'll come with time uh, i'm thinking more when we get a buttload of users right now it's just Still a slow trickle, and I'm thinking what I've got set up will cover us for a good little while. Um, I don't know how long. I guess, it, you know, I am still worried about there being a huge spike in traffic all of a sudden. But um, did have some issues with some bots early on, but I was able to get that sorted out. I um, actually thought it was like a DDoS attack, or at least a small-scale one, because it was only about 16 unique things that were hitting the page but i had a couple of them that were just hitting random urls every second for about an hour straight and just completely locked up the server and i had to sort that out digging through the access logs and all that fun shit um anyway moving on um 
So I decided to launch CheatTables.org. Um, as you can kind of see in the title there, it's one that's dedicated to the idea of open source cheat tables. Um, I want to, you know, I don't know if you're aware of uh, OpenSource.org. Um, But they are, you know, it's an open source initiative. That's even the, the logo is based off of that. You can't really see it there, but um, the logo is based off of that even. Um, and that's kind of, you know, guaranteeing you are in source. And that was something I wanted to carry over. Um, so I just, like I said, I kind of just wanted to give an update on this, invite everybody to stop on by, um, know that this is where I'll be posting. Uh, I've already reposted all of my tutorials here um, and even all my tables and all that. So, and this will be where I'm going to start carrying on from here. All my code and all that's going to be coming here. If, if something gets updated or something like that, it'll be here and it won't be at Fearless because... That was another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, after launching the site, they have locked me out. Because um, I did choose to delete all my tables. Um, after seeing what they did to another user, um, somebody that's a moderator now on our forum, uh, or on my forum, um, you can kind of see here, he's, you know, they, they changed his name and basically made it look like his stuff was all created by someone else. We can even see that the uh, quotes are still done improperly you know if I click this here it'll take me up to this icy purpose 99 um, all right it's an icy purpose and anyway um you know so I mean to me that was the whole point of the app was to keep people from stealing people's work and then they kind of showed that they were totally willing to do that if they felt like it suited them um, which was just something that kept bothering me more and more and that was where I, I really started pushing my you know the new forum um and if you agree with this kind of shit being wrong and you're you're into open source you know come on by because i think you'll like what i've set up um because this to me this is just downright wrong i mean and to do it that lazily i i get that it'd be a lot of work to change all these other posts but come on guys seriously <laughs> you know, it's like it's pretty obvious you're just screwing people over here not going but some of these still work um but yeah so that's kind of the route they decided to go was just you know taking people's shit i know that was why i finally decided to pull all my tables off of here because it was i didn't want that um i didn't mind leaving them at first but then when i saw it was like you know they're just gonna basically steal people's work and not give a shit it's what's the fucking point um but yeah you can see they removed links for my uh playlist um I may even go back, if you've got links for some of these videos, I'm actually thinking about just screwing with them and basically posting this video in place of all of these, updating all these videos to this one, just so all my tutorials will be this. Um, and sorry if you find it, and this is how you find it, uh, just know, yeah, come here and you'll find the same tutorial. It'll be, I've got the sections broke down more in depth, so to me that way things are, you know, what you want is easier to find, but yeah, just know that, it, you know, it's all been moved here, and I'll be updating these as I do that, because I'll make sure I re-upload the original video and get a new URL for it, post it here, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if they try and keep fixing this. Um, but I'll just probably keep doing that to screw with them just for the hell of it, because why not? <laughs> you know, if you're going to do this kind of shit, I'm going to screw with you. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to touch on that. Uh, that was, because, you know, the whole fallout with the app was even before this I, I lost my moderator status as you know because of it um even i'll admit i kind of did get a little childish there and got a little pissed off about it um and was basically telling people how easy it was to bypass the app um, but at this point there's already i've seen at least four different people post tools to uh decrypt the tables um so it, it, you know, it was just really a piss poor execution of it to begin with. And that was part of my problem with it even was the idea that they were just giving this false sense of security to people telling them your stuff will be 100% secure. And well, they didn't really say that, but they were kind of implying it, that it was going to be super secure and, you know, your, your tables would never be stolen again and blah, blah, blah. 
And then it was like, dude, it took an hour and I could start spitting scripts out left and right. <laughs> it was like, ah, uh, just, ah. Uh. And it's because they, they based it on cheat engine. Um, you know, it's basically a modified cheat engine. So it still had Lua in there and they can't take that out and not break the table. So it was, you know, you could still just get in there and code up some Lua and start spitting out scripts and get whatever you wanted. Just like they couldn't disable the auto run feature, you know. Um, so that was all I ever had to do was just drop a file in the auto run folder to start spitting scripts out and it wasn't really an issue. Um, hell, at that point I could custom make, you know, because I already know how to execute Lua code based on a string. So it was like I could have just made my own Lua window since they kind of did disable that a little bit. But, you know, anyway, I don't want this video to be an hour long. So at any rate, stop on by um, opensheettables.org. Uh, let us know what you think. Um, if you think I'm a scumbag, let me know. If not, let me know. Give me, you know, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care. Because um, that is part of the idea here is I won't be deleting shit like that. Um, you know, if you've got an opinion, I, I want to hear it, good or bad. Um, it'll be a learning experience for me to figure out what the community wants and what direction we should go. Um, just know the open source thing is a big contention for me. That's, that's something I'm not going to back down on. I really don't care <laughs> if you disagree with that. Go to Fearless. Go, you know, any other community. I, I, there's a few of them that are kind of set up that way. Um, currently, right now, I don't allow trainers just because I kind of don't want to mess with the EXEs. And it, to me, it would, I, would ha I would make it to where they'd have to be open source. And most trainer makers don't want to do that. Um, I'm not trying to knock trainer makers. Uh, people do like trainers, so that, you know, that's... If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But just know this won't necessarily be the place for you for posting trainers. Hopefully even there it'll be a place for you to come and learn and share some other things. Maybe even post your own tutorials. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I don't want to be posting trainers. Um, another point is we don't allow paywalls. Um, donations are fine. PayPal, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or even Patreon is fine. But no locking stuff behind paywalls because that kind of defeats the whole open source mentality um kind of the generic disclaimer for multiplayer although i do actually add that i kind of look the other way if it's a co-op but if it's player versus player yeah that's just a dick move in my mind um at any rate um so yeah now one key thing i do really want to note is this one right here i think it is an important rule um because I am basically making a disclaimer that anything on this forum that gets posted will by default, you know, follow an MIT license. Um, I do allow you to post different licenses, so that way if you're not familiar with all these, um, there are ones that will allow you to look at code and use it personally, but you can't resell it or repackage it. Um, so if you prefer one of these, um, you know, you're, you're welcome to just cite one of these. Uh, I do have a... Um, a um, license uh, BBC code thing set up so that way it will link it to here all you got to do is just put the name inside of it um, it kind of explains it but or yeah I guess this one would be a little different you'd have to get that name but at any rate you know won't be hard to figure it out but but that way you can have the license you want that reflects what you want while still making it open source um, because that is, that is a number one. Um, a, no bullshit deleting a bunch of crap for propaganda. And B, you know, open source, open source, open source. <laughs> you know? I want people to be able to use my tables and learn from them. Because um, I know that was a big way I learned, was looking at other people's code. Um, that was one of the big things that was discussed when the app was launched. You know, was, you know, how do people learn? And yeah, just with, I mean, like the renaming shit, that, that is such a dick move, especially like this. I mean, if you want to remove his shit, fine, but, you know, don't give it somebody else. Or just ban the guy and leave his name there. I mean, that, why the fuck are you renaming it like you want to, you know, basically, so dedicated to not stealing work, you're going to steal work to do it. You know, it's just like, what the shit kind of logic is that? Oh, he got done so wrong, Marcus. I mean, just, god damn. I'm glad I, I found out about that and was able to remove my tables. I'm wondering if they're back there putting them back up already. 
Yeah, it'll be kind of hard to find, but at any rate, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, you'll probably see some discussion about that. I'm guessing anything that gets posted about our forum here is going to be gone in seconds. Well, maybe not seconds, but as soon as one of the mods see it, I'll guarantee they're going to take it down. They're just not going to allow that kind of shit. Um, but we do have a um, open sheet, you know, r slash open sheet tables. Um, feel free to post there if you prefer Reddit. Um, I, you know, I can't guarantee I'll be on there a lot, but I'll try. Um, and then there is a u slash open sheet tables um, set up. So that way, and I did actually set up a YouTube channel. I locked down a lot of accounts just to make sure nobody was going to start using that name and, and you know hurt the the brand so to speak um but yeah um hopefully you'll you'll like the forum i think it's got a lot of features i've integrated into it already um not the only thing i don't have right now that i need to work on but I, i've got to work on my php and actually get like a proper extension um set up to do it properly but that is the uh syntax highlighting um i had one that was kind of working but it just didn't highlight things correctly and i even when I was changing the theme, it didn't change anything. Um, and not just, I'm not just talking the overall themes that I've got set up on the site, but the, the themes for the code highlighting. So I kind of want to make an extension that'll work properly. Um, I'm hoping to use Highlight.js just so I can offload some of that work onto the client. And I'll say it's something you wouldn't even notice. I've used it before. Um, It'll just work very quickly, but it just won't be server-sided syntax highlighting. Um, and it still allows you to just select code like normal, but it'll just be nice and pretty looking. And then that way I can even hopefully maybe integrate an actual code theme that'll be on the user profile to where you can change that as you want, you know, and have it syntax highlighting in the, the way you want it to be. Because um, not everybody agrees on that. Um, but at any rate, I think I'm going to leave off here um, come on by and check us out let us know what you think um, there is a section here where I've been kind of just posting updates and telling what's going on we do have a discord although right now to keep it from getting taken down too quickly um, I'm gonna keep it behind you have to get up to the uh, cheater rank um, 25 posts to get a link to that and then there is, I did have a, I do have a Patreon set up. If you want to just get at this instantly, you're welcome to do that too. But, but if you don't, you know, just start posting and, you know, be part of the community and you'll get a link to that before too long. You do have to message me though, because I, I'm trying, I'd like to set up a way, I think there is a way to automatically put you in a group so I could open up a new forum to you at a certain point, but, um, I have to figure that out. Um. But, you know, like I said, we've got um, one kind of explaining some of the features, not even all of them, just kind of some of the general ones, because um, I do got app mentions set up and, and all that kind of stuff to make life a little easier. Uh, I was trying to make a, you know, more modern setup, so we've got our Steam badges and that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Um, have fun.